His was a happy life until the fire. CCTV captures the last time Isaac Paulus was seen entering the tower. Hours later, everything changed. Living high up on Grenfell's 18th floor, Isaac was five. He died after getting lost in the stairwell as his family escaped. No parent should outlive or expect to outlive their child. No parent should have to choose which of their children should risk dying. No parent should ever have to think about these decisions, let alone make them. Today, the inquiry documented Isaac's final moments. On the night of the fire, his family were at first told to stay in their flat. But as the fire approached, Isaac's desperate father thought about jumping from a window with his wife to try to save their children. He told her that if they jumped and landed on their backs, holding each child, they could cushion their fall. And this was better than being burnt alive. But eventually, firefighters did finally arrive up at the 18th floor, guiding Isaac's family and a neighbour down the stairs that were now full of toxic smoke. It's not exactly known how Isaac got detached from this group escaping the tower. His mum and dad only realised he was missing once they got outside. But the boy's body was later found alone on the 13th floor. My Isaac, my boy. Isaac's father, Rest in peace. Paulus Tekle, has appeared before the inquiry twice before. I must live with the image and thought of my little boy left alone. On stairs of horror all night. But neither he nor his wife Gannett attended today's hearing. Paulus and Gannett live, and I use that word advisedly, live with the horror of the events of the early hours of the 14th of June that led to the death of their son. They tortured themselves with the knowledge that they were unable to carry both their sons out of the town and are left with the thought of, if only I had done this, or if only I had done that. The sad and haunting details of just one tragedy among the 72 who died in the tower. Rags Martel, ITV News, at the Grenfell Inquiry.